Jim Armato in the black trunks, Dana Bartolini in the white trunks. And you could see that Armato was trying to telegraph an overhand right from about a mile away. Try to spinning back fist. Bartolini oh, ends up on the ground, and Armato is raining punches Ouch. down on the cover. Bartolini has Bartolini. to move here. He uh, looks too fatigued to try for a second. He looks extremely exhausted. Armato going for a rear naked choke, looking to sink that one hook in. start the third round, Peter. But Bartolini kicking him off. It might be a matter of conditioning and it'd be as simple as that. Bartolini making no attempt to get to his feet, even though it looks like Armado's trying to let him up. Yeah, Armado doesn't look as tired at all. I mean, if I was Armado, I, I, I might think about letting him stand up. However, this is a decent position to be in. The interesting thing is, Bartolini may feel that he won the first two rounds, and if he can just survive this round, he can win in the scorecards. It, it's quite possible, but you got to do something. You have to survive. I mean, early in this round, he was landing those blows. And he was just covering up. I mean, you do that for 30 more seconds, and the judge could stop it. You never know. You hear uh, Jorge Rivera yelling instructions in the corner, trying to get Bartolini to move a little bit, trying to get his hips to move, trying to maybe get out. We've seen him get out of this position. Well, when before. Bartolini was uncontested on the ground and Armaro was seemingly inviting him to get up, he made no effort to move. He was just lying there on the ground. I think it's a matter of fatigue. It, it, you know what? I will not disagree with you. You gotta think it would be very safe for Armando to try to finish here. I mean, if I'm him or his corners, I don't want this going to the decision just because of the first two rounds. Armando landing a couple hammer fists to the side of Bartolini's head and subsequently smacking the mat as well. 15 seconds to go, I believe. Bartolini barely holding on. You have 10 seconds now. Bartolini holding on for dear life. Well, that dominant, was a fight. Dominant round by Armado here to end it. That was a fight that unfolded in three distinct chapters. Round one, dominant for Dan Bartolini. Round two, competitive with an interesting ebb and flow with both fighters having the advantage at different points during the round. And then the third round, dominant in favor of James Armado. It is gonna be a very difficult fight to score. Very, very difficult fight to score. I mean, I am glad, as I've repeated throughout, I am not a judge here. I mean, you could even make the case that was a 10-8 round. I don't know if I would go that far, though that is your opinion, but let me ask you. You said you don't want to be a judge. That's fine. You're not an official judge, but I'm going to put you on the spot anyways. How do you have this fight scored? I have it scored the first two rounds to Bartolini, the third round to Armado. Now, you said it could be a 10-8 round in the third round for Armado. Is that how you scored it, or are you just saying it's possible? Um, I'm saying it's possible. That's not how I scored it. You know, 10-8 rounds, 10-9s. Are you saying 10-8 like a 10-10? I mean, you see more 10-8s than you see 10 Hell, We saw our 10-8 tonight. However, we saw one 10-8 tonight. You don't see them a lot. Well, it looks like the scorecards are being collected right now at ringside, taking a little bit of time to do the math. And our ring announcer, John Vina, 
will be entering the ring momentarily, letting us know the verdict of this fight as it was very competitive throughout between Dan Bartolini and Jim Armato. Once again, you're watching AFO 13 AnySportsTV.com. Peter Zimbor cage side with Mark Daniels. We'll also be here October 8th for AFO here in Mansfield, Massachusetts. And then in November, on a Wednesday night, the night before Thanksgiving, we'll be here cage side once again. AFO on AnySportsTV.com. This is the first broadcast AnySportsTV.com has done in conjunction with the American Fighting Organization and hopefully it's the first of many, many more. Very, very interested here, Peter, to see how the judges scored it. How did you score it? Now you're the one putting me on the spot. I, I, had, I had to give it back to you. Giving it back to me. I would agree with you that I think Bartolini won the first two rounds and Armado won the third. Armado, or Bartolini, two rounds to one, but I could easily see the second round going in favor of Armado. Ladies and gentlemen, before Here we, we go. the official scorecards, have a nice round of applause once again for Jim Armato and Dan Bartolini. After three hard fun rounds, here are your scores. Judge Eric Zickwitz sees the bout 29-28 for Armato. <laughs> Judge Leo Gerstel sees the bout 29-28 for Bartolini. Well, Judge Ryan Shea scores the bout 29-28 to your winner by split decision, Jim Hart. A split decision victory for Jim Armato. Dan Bartolini, he's disappointed, but it's one of those fights where you let it go to the judges' scorecards and it's that close. It could go either way. I don't think there's any reason for either fighter to be disappointed. They're amateurs. They gained a lot of experience tonight. Exactly. And that's a fight I think we'd like to see at some point down the oh, line exactly. of the future. You know, Peter, um, you know, in Bartolini, as you said, amateurs, this is a way for them to learn, to learn in the sport. And Bartolini, and let's be honest, if he had a better gas tank, he probably wins this fight. So a split decision, Jim Armato defeats Dan Bartolini.